hi guys welcome back to my channel i am shells this channel is a bit of social work my thyroid journey and a few vlogs and anything else i want to throw on here um the tan is popping as you guys can see because child anyway i started vlogging but the vlog just wasn't vlogging my camera died my chargers wouldn't work in the chargers port it was just chaotic but i'm gonna piece together bits and pieces of that little vlog because i think you might enjoy it um but yeah i had a very good time it's your girl this video actually i i do try and keep up with my comments even if i am not active on youtube as in regularly posting i'm gonna respond to the comments i keep my notifications on so i can see when you guys have commented and i'll respond as quickly as i can um and this is again going to be a social work video because it was requested by one of you in the comments some time 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 ago um and i just thought i would do a brief video on it because it is useful information um again this is just my view my understanding make sure you're subscribed hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video um and let's just get straight into it this person requested to go over like the categories of abuse within social work um i guess or i assume that they're talking about children's services so i've just written them down myself i think for me these are the main ones that we always go by so the categories of abuse we have sexual abuse neglect physical abuse and emotional abuse now the categories exist because there's obviously so many different kinds of abuse that can take place to a child, not to 18, even to adults, but we're looking at children, right? Um, and I think if we didn't have these categories, then we wouldn't know what harm we're looking for or what needs to be implemented in order for us to protect and safeguard vulnerable children. So the categories exist so we know, okay, this is what they're at risk of or at. This is the risk. And this is the plan or the strategies or the things that we need to implement with the family. Because remember, we're working with families in order for them to kind of like overcome it. And they're obviously deregistered from the at risk register or the child protection register or CP, whatever you want to call it. Right. So those are the categories. Physical abuse is very, very self-explanatory um the law has changed in scotland wales and i think it may be ireland don't quote me on that northern ireland to be precise right in england however the law remains the same now i'm going to tell you exactly what i think so we've got physical chastisement which is an element of physical abuse because chastising you could verbally chastise someone that's to tell someone off or to use like terminology to reprimand so on and so forth so to physically chastise is a hit smack or any of those things right now we have cases that come into the attention of the mash team for instance because that's the front door or the front door service or whoever takes all the phone calls in that local authority and that initial team will see an initial kind of concern and then immediately that whole family on that case file or the the emails or so on and so forth that are flying around you will just see physical chastisement so it could have been that a child said my mum and dad my mum pushed me yesterday physical chastisement will be all over the case files but that does not necessarily equate to what has happened right so we just use the labels and the terms to describe generically what we note as the initial concern. Physical abuse, though, is if there is a visible mark or injury and use of an implement. That is what constitutes to physical abuse. So if you physically chastise your child and you leave a visible mark or injury on that child, okay, and or you use an implement an implement could be hanger shoe slipper belt belt buckle whip 
branch whatever you want to call it if you use any implement to physically chastise your child then that is considered to be physical abuse now for me things that i have conversations with parents about would be how frequently do you hit or smack your child is it every single time they're in trouble are you unjustifiably just smacking your child for the sake of smacking your child? Do you not know how to have a conversation? These are all things that I query and question parents about when I am concerned that potentially that child may or may not be at risk of physical harm, right? So that is physical abuse, essentially. And of course, there are children who are physically abused. And when we mean physically abused, they have fractures, they have broken bones, they have suffered some kind of hard impact. And it could only be accounted for via a child protection medical, um, because just simply seeing them in person isn't going to be able to differentiate what's happened, right? So there are children that these things happen to, and that is obviously very, very serious. Um, but in social work, you have to be very careful also to not just label an initial concern that whole category of abuse. So that's physical abuse anyway. Sexual abuse is very, very self-explanatory. Sexual abuse is 0 to 18 year olds under the age of 16. I'm going to actually split actually. So any adult, so over the age of 18 engaging in sexual acts with a child who is under the age of 18 that is considered sexual abuse any adult engaging in sexual activity with a child who is above 16 so if uh, an adult male who is 18 has sexual intercourse with a young female who is 16 and the young female says that she consented to it, then it wouldn't be classified as sexual abuse per se. Um, although some people will just blanket statement it. And this is the, the thing with the law. It's very, there's a lot of murky grey areas. And that's why a lot of things are dealt with on a case to case basis. But um, blanket, it's very clear as day, 0 to 18, any adult from the ages 0 to 18 who engages in sexual activity that could be penetration oral sex um that could be obviously now through videos so on and so forth that is considered an offense right so that is sexual abuse and then you have the the part where the sexual abuse happens between young people and young people so you have young people who are now sexually assaulting each other who are of the same age group so you might have a 12 year old and let's say a 14 year old for instance they're of a similar age group they cannot legally consent um, you have to be of the age 16 and above to consent to any sexual kind of behaviours or interactions taking place. So again, another great area. There's an element, obviously, the online stuff, but this video is not going to be about the online exchanges of indecent images, but it is also considered sexual abuse because any material that is digested by an adult, even children, um, which is of another child, indecent images at that is considered um a, a feature of sexual abuse as well then you have neglect neglect right neglect is a hard one it's always been a hard one to, to gauge um neglect can range from poor school attendance poor dental hygiene non-engagement with health visiting or non-engagement with GP health services, um, anything to do with what that child needs at that point in time and the stages of their development, any non-engagement from the parent, you are neglecting your child. You're neglecting their physical health needs. You're neglecting their mental health needs if that's the support they need. You're neglecting, obviously, their educational attainment, so on and so forth. But neglect also goes on the line of, is that child looking clean? Are they well kept? Um, have they eaten um, and I always look at neglectors the basic care needs they go hand in hand basic care a child needs adequate clothing adequate adequate provisions in terms of accommodation so bedroom stuff like that 
um they need to be educated they need just like the very basic like that's what judges always look at they'll say if that parent can provide the basic care to that child which are those basic things so neglect and basic care go hand in hand um and if a parent cannot meet those basic care needs for whatever reason it may be it would constitute as neglect okay then obviously you have the very severe cases where the house is rat mouse dog infested you have parents who are not feeding the children or withholding their money locking them in bedrooms um and then that may work concurrently with physical abuse and emotional abuse as well so a lot of things for you to consider there and to unpack lastly is emotional abuse and that is the hardest one because i think in my opinion that emotional abuse is the direct impact of all of those things that with the other categories already so I, I i genuinely don't even think it should have its own category i think it should just be a subcategory of the categories if that makes any sense might overcomplicate it but if you look at it, emotional abuse if the child is constantly said you're fat you're fat you're this you're that um you're this you're that you're you, you're not gonna be anything you're not gonna be anyone you're that's obviously gonna have an impact on their self-esteem you know the way they view themselves the way they view the world so on and so forth so um that would fall under the category of emotional abuse you also have when children are exposed to their parents um domestic abuse or domestic violence again that could fall under the category of um, emotional abuse in my opinion i will say that's neglect because why are two parents fighting and arguing and then your child can see and is exposed to that and then may even intervene which may mean that they're now at risk of physical abuse so there's a lot of things to consider but anyway i hope that helps you with understanding better the categories of um abuse within children's social work um feel free to drop comments guys drop comments drop comments and i will get through them if you've got any video requests let me know um because i am going to start working through the social work content i've got some other videos ready or coming for you guys so make sure you stay tuned subscribe and all of that great stuff and yes i will be back with one as well just just give us a few just give us a few we're coming we're coming um but yeah it's been good guys bye